Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade, module eight, lesson 15. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue telling time to the nearest five minutes, but this time we're gonna add in AM and PM. Don't ask me what AM stands for, it stands for something. <laughs> don't ask me what PM stands for, it also stands for something, I don't know. Uh, but we know that AM is in the morning, PM is the afternoon, and that's what our students are gonna be focusing on in this lesson, so let's get started. So just a little bit of a reminder, uh, I've got that GeoGebra applet that I created, and remember it's bit.ly slash Dwayne Clock, and the D and the C are capitalized. And so the idea would be we have this uh, GeoGebra applet that helps our students, you know, practice telling time, right? Uh, let's scoot that there. Okay. And so you can either have the analog or the digital or both showing. For example, you could practice reading an analog clock. Set the clock to something and let you, oh, but we want it to be to the nearest five. Uh, so set your clock somewhere and then look at your digital to see if the students were correct. So the idea would be set the time for something, some nearest five, and then click to see if you're right. Or you could do the reverse. You could hide the analog clock, set the uh, digital clock, and then you could say, well, what would the analog clock look like? In which case you can set up the prediction hands and these the kids will use their fingers and they can move the hand wherever they want it to go so I'm gonna do 45 and I'm gonna say oh I don't know I guess that's my prediction and then have the students click on show clock hands and we're gonna click on that and oh look at that I was pretty darn close if I hide and show those the actual hands boy I was pretty darn close so parents and teachers gee whiz let your students have fun and let you know with telling time and this GeoGebra applet is one way to do that and so as you're doing it we do want to instill in our students that convention of a.m. versus p.m. and so decide whether the, the activity uh, would happen in the a.m. or p.m. So eating breakfast, is that an a.m. or a p.m.? Well, of course, it's likely to be an a.m., although we got to admit with McDonald's, now they're offering breakfast all day. So some of these things might, you can engage in a nice little conversation with your students, parents and teachers, because some of this might be kind of fun. Setting the table for dinner is another example. And Thanksgiving some kids might be asked by their parents to set their table in the morning because dinner is going to happen at two or three. Uh, but anyway, the idea is let your students talk about a.m. and p.m. based on these current activities. So here it says, write the time displayed on the clock and then choose whether the activity would happen in the a.m. or the p.m. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at that clock. And this clock really looks like it is saying it is 7 o'clock. Exactly, 7 o'clock. But if we are brushing your teeth before school, that makes this an a.m. activity. So that's 7 a.m. And if we want to, we could say, well, what about eating dessert after dinner? So the idea would be, well, we're kind of thinking about after dinner, so that's going to be a p.m. And looking at our clock, well, we see that the minute hand is at, starting at 12, you go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so that's 25 minutes. And we can see that the hour hand is between the 8 and the 9, so we know that that's going to be... 8 o'clock. So it's 8.25 and we know it's 8.25 p.m. because we're doing something after dinner. So parents and teachers, again, we're kind of removing the scaffolding. Now instead of reading the clock, we're going to be using our um, 
an empty clock here to draw in the hands. This is just like that GeoGebra applet I showed earlier. So maybe instead of doing this activity, do the GeoGebra and have fun with it and play with it. Nonetheless, uh, brushing your teeth before bedtime, 8.15. So first off, before bedtime. So that's going to make it a PM activity. And 8.15. So 8.15. Well, let's start by doing the, the minute hand. That's pretty straightforward because that's going to go here. And 8 o'clock. So let, it's going to go a little bit past the 8, not to the 9 yet. So that's 8.15. And again recess after lunch. So the fact that it's saying after lunch makes it a p.m. activity. So 1230 p.m. So if we want to do 1230, well, we know going our minute hand is going to go down to the 6. Now 12. If the if the hour is 12, so we're doing 1230. So I just took care of the 30 part with our, our hand going here, our minute hand. Now, the 12 is going to be right in between the 12 and the 1, right there. There's our hour hand. So there's our 1230. And that wraps up that slide. Last slide for this video, it says, write what you might be doing if it were a.m. or p.m. So this is where our students look at the clock, and we see that the time is 6 o'clock. But what we're going to do at 6 a.m. is going to be very different than what we might be doing at 6 p.m. So let your students talk about some things that they might be doing at 6 a.m., versus things they might be doing at 6 p.m. And similarly, this clock says 4.30. What might you be doing at 4.30 a.m. versus 4.30 p.m.? And that wraps up second grade module 8, lesson 15. We're telling time to the nearest five minutes, but really we're focusing on the meaning of a.m. and p.m.